out. It was a Friday night. I walk alone. Alright, what's up you guys? So today I'm gonna do a hacky sack tutorial video kind of thing. Uh this is for my homie Malik Thompson. Uh shouts to you bro. Um, he's a beginner, so this video is gonna help him also help whoever is interested in hacky sack or is just starting hacky sack. Um, so hopefully this video helps and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. All right, so what you need for an attire is some comfortable clothes, of course. Um, shorts is the best uh, thing to go with because it's really easy to do your tricks. Um, if you're doing jeans, um, jeans aren't really the best, but if you're comfortable in jeans, then then do it. And shoes, you're gonna need some low tops. Um, if you don't really like low tops, then vans, like vans are good. Um, to practice, what I use to practice is so flip flops. So if you're just starting out, uh, flip flops are the best things to use uh, to practice your hacky sack tricks. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you're wondering, these are Vlados, Supermans. Um, yeah, they probably look like clown shoes. <laughs> so, but yeah, these are just the only ones, uh, the only low tops I have that are good for a hacky sack. So let's get started to the tutorial. All right. So what you want to do first is kind of stretch out your ankles because. Uh, you'll use your ankles a lot in hacky sack, uh, especially with stalling and other tricks. So what I do to warm up my feet, I I rotate them counterclockwise and then clockwise. So or I sometimes just I stretch it out like this because some tricks are used like this. So. Same thing with this foot. So, I want to stretch them. So make sure you get your legs, foot stretched up so you don't pull anything. Oh, what will also help, putting your foot down and just step on it. Like, just sit on it. It'll kind of help stretch out, stretch up the muscle. So. You'll be, you'll be able to stall. So yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. Alright, the first trick is a stall. Uh, the stall is one of the basic moves in um, your tricks in hacky sack. So I'm going to show you how to do that. A stall is basically landing the hacky sack on your foot. But your foot is horizontal. Not slanted, but horizontal. Will also help is bouncing the hack set on the stall, get you comfortable with catching it. Just like that. So let's go over the stall. So you're gonna pick it up and pick it up. Same thing with the opposite if you're a lefty, same thing. So just do that. Uh, routine and you'll get it down packed. So let's go to the next one. Alright, this next one is the side stall, which is basically the same thing as a regular stall, but you know, on the side. Uh, that's kind of why I said to stretch this side because this is when the side stall comes in. It's the same thing, it has to be horizontal, straight, and you know, drop it. I'm not a lefty on side stall, so I'm not gonna go there. So let's put both stalls together. On the side stall. And once you get comfortable with both stalls, you'll be able to switch it from the regular stall to the side stall. So it's, it'll, it'll look like this. And those are the two basic stalls. All right, so now this this trick is called an invert. It's using the regular stall. So uh, what you're doing is 
putting the hack stick down on a regular stall and then your foot is going to go counterclockwise it's going to go up around this around the hack sack actually so it's going to go here you're going to toss it up around your foot so here's a demonstration here's a slow-mo So you gotta be kind of be really be quick about it. So you go, and that's the invert. Now this next one is called around the world. It's the same thing as an invert, but backwards. So you're going clockwise this time, which is kind of I think this is kind of harder, a little harder than a uh, than invert, unless you're comfortable with going that way. So invert is this way. Uh, around the world is that way. So around the world should look like this. There's a slow-mo. Let's go on to the next trick. Alright, so this next trick is called an emerald. It's the same thing as around the world, but you're landing it on a side stall. You're starting off with the regular stall, but landing it on the side stall. So here's a demonstration. Here's a slow-mo. Alright, so on to the next trick. Now this one is a, a reverse emerald. So you're basically doing uh, invert, but you're starting with a side stall. So you're gonna go from a side stall and turn it into a, a invert. Here's a demonstration. The reverse emerald is probably one of my best moves. I know these tricks are hard, or look hard, but they're, they really get easy once you start practicing. Um, but the th one thing is, it beats up a lot of energy. <laughs> Alright, so the ruby is probably the trick you want to uh, try to practice last. Because it's pretty hard. Um, so your, a ruby is starting from your opposite leg to your normal leg. But you're doing an invert. So here's the demonstration. Here's a slow-mo. So you can tell that I'm kind of out of breath. So this next one is called a scorpion. So it's basically going from a normal stall to a hill stall. Here's a demonstration. This next one is called a Bob Marley. I honestly don't know why it's called Bob Marley, but it's a, it's a move. So here's a demonstration of the Bob Marley. So yeah, the Bob Marley is actually going from a stall to a side stall, but on the opposite side. And that's a Bob Marley. All right, so, this next one is called a flat top, and it looks like this. So yeah, flat top is basically going on the, the bottom part of your foot. This next trick is called a lavender. So, lavender is landing on this side. Oh, something is a flat top, but it's on this side. Here's a, an example. Lavender is one of the moves I haven't done since middle school. Here's a slow-mo. This next one is called the Kamikaze. And it looks like this.
Yeah, come cause you put in a number stall, side stall, going around, toss, catch. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you wanna see air moves, comment that you wanna see air moves. If you don't know what the air moves look like, here's a quick video of the air moves. It was a Friday night, I woke alone to get the feeling right. We started making out and she took off my pants, but then I turned on the TV. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this little tutorial. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you wanna see the air moves, just comment down below that you wanna see it. And so yeah, just rewind it, replay it, and follow those steps. I hope they helped you in any way, especially you, my homie, Malik. Um, hope this helped you. And yeah, follow me on my Instagram, right there. And follow me on my Twitter, right there. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll see you next time. Deuces. Bow. Yeah. Ursha, baby. This for the